Hi, uh, today I'm going to show you uh, how to use Civil Bay program to do the uh, vertical vessel skirt support design, okay? So, here is a PDF file, and I put a link, download link of this PDF file uh, on this video's uh, description page, okay? There's a link there, you can download this working sheet to uh, uh, use in this tutorial. So, for vertical vessel, uh, oil and gas, uh, uh, Project vertical vessel. There are two type of uh, support. First is the skirt support, like this one. Okay, there's a ring, uh, base ring uh, with a circular pattern uh, anchor bolt. Uh, they call skirt support. The the other type is so called leg support. Uh, there's isolated concrete pedestal, uh, a circular pattern concrete pedestal. That's called leg support, and that's called uh, skirt support. So. For this uh, tutorial, uh, I'm going to show you how to use this program to design a skirt support circular pattern anchor bolt. Okay, so download the uh, PDF files in down below the, the description section of this video. So let's uh, uh, move to the uh, design parameter. Okay, skirt support example. Uh, these are parameter I'm going to input here. Okay, so move this out. Okay, so uh, to start. Okay, uh, we vertical vessel. We have to go to uh, uh, these uh, drop down box, uh, select this vertical vessel support input. Okay, so there are two types, as I say, uh, for now is a uh, not vertical case, uh, for our case is a skirt support. We have to choose skirt support here. Okay, so now we have to uh, input the uh, vessel empty weight, uh, it's 47. 37 kips. Uh, vessel operating weight is 280.8. 280.8. Okay. And the we update this one first. And anchor bolt diameters, uh, we go to uh, dimension, anchor bolt diameter to be uh, one inch, one inch already. Uh, embedment depth to be 18 inch. Both circle diameter 157.5. Where is it? Okay, update. We update 18 inch. Okay, both circle diameter go back to anchor uh, vessel input uh, DBC. DBC. It's here 157.5. Number of both to be 20. 20. Okay, so 157.20. Uh, these uh, distance uh, we call autogom. Uh, this you see here, this autogom uh, face to face to be uh, 196.196.85. Okay, this is a uh, suggest value, uh, it's called a minimum value. Okay, uh, based on PIP uh, uh, standard. They they have uh, once you uh, decide the bolt circle diameter based on the uh, these uh, anchor bolt uh, diameter the sleeve condition okay because uh, we have uh, normally for this uh, vertical vessel we have uh, sleeve okay sleeve the concrete as sleeve we have sleeve okay for tensile huge uh, tensile row we have sleeve these are uh, sleeve uh, dimension the sleeve itself is not impacting the uh, calculation but just some um, provision for high tensile anchors okay so based on the sleeve condition anchor bolt uh, diameters uh, anchor bolt diameter once you decide the uh, both circle diameter, there's a minimum uh, suggest value of uh, autogon face to face. You can be bigger than that. You can use the minimum one by copy, use copy button, okay, or manual input. So uh, as long as uh, larger than this value, it's fine. So for our case, it's 196.85. The thickness of this uh, autogon map uh, is 23.6, 23. 0.62 okay update 
uh, let go to design load. Design load the moment uh, size me uh, wing is hundred point nine, one thousand point nine, not hundred point nine. Uh, size me is four three four point two. 434.2 The shear is 29.9 29.9 We already input this empty is 47 The operating is 28 uh, 0 0.8 Okay Update first Okay So These are friction factors Because uh, The between the uh, vessel base and concrete surface, uh, there's a friction, uh, static friction. Uh, they might uh, resist the ratio shear, shear okay, base shear. But someone uh, don't like it, they, they want the anchor to take the load, you can just input zero here. For our case, uh, we, uh, we, uh, for our case, uh, we use these uh, 0.55, all right? So uh, 0.55, that's from PIP, okay? PIP, uh, so so for our case, uh, uh, if the if the uh, friction is larger than these uh, base shear, these values, there's, there's no shear taken by anchor. So uh, we pretty much uh, finished the input of this one. So go to uh, anchor. You see uh, there is uh, there is uh, anchor force uh, calculation. Okay, and uh, because the friction is enough to take the shear, so there's uh, zero shear taken by anchor. So then you work out the uh, anchor tensile because uh, for anchorage tensile design for anchorage design, we only care about tension. Of the anchors, so uh, the uh, compression part it's it's safe for anchors. We don't care the maximum compression, the, the larger the better. But for tensile, that's the only thing we care about anchorage design. So we for that reason we have we only care about the oblique load combination where the uh, gravity low is uh, multiplied by a point nine factor. And the overturn moment uh, either come from wing or come from seismic. When it come from wing, uh, uh, the less uh, gravity weight, the better. Uh, the larger the tensile, so we use empty, uh, empty uh, weight here. Uh, operating case, uh, there will be less tensile. Okay, so it's not governing. So empty weight for wing. For seismic, because we need a mass to generate uh, larger uh, lateral load, so we have to use operating weight. In operating weight, the mass is larger, the lateral load is larger, so the overall time moment is larger. So these are two governing uh, low combinations. We both of them are uply low combination. So that's how. We get the maximum tensile row, all right? So uh, that's uh, low calculations and the tensile concrete breakout. We use uh, the reference file here, as you can check okay, yourself. And uh, then we have uh, anchor because shear is taken by uh, uh, friction. So we have only tensile check. And that's it, okay? And uh, thank you very much.